I guess that's what comedy is all about, isn't it? That's why we watch it. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm back with another comedy reaction, and this time it's Greg Davies. I absolutely loved him in The Inbetweeners. He cracked me up. But other than that, I haven't seen him in anything else. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And just super quick, if you haven't already, head over to my Instagram and give me a follow to see what I've been up to. Whether it's photo shoots that I do or training at the gym, there's something on there for everyone. So head on over to at Lady Ray UK and say hello. Based on your life. I mean, this is things... Yeah, but... I mean... <laughs> Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. What? The, the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Tony Foster that story. <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back. And while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> And then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry, and then the next day I went into school. <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. They were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway. I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> had got mixed up in the washi. <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is... <laughs> Such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> and then the curry and the booze, the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. So I, I, I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> and I started, I started going, oh god, not this, not this as well. Oh Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly. Too easy. Here we go. So maybe man down isn't that far fetched. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. His storytelling is brilliant. How embarrassing would that actually be? Especially as a 30 something year old man, you'd be mortified. But I have to say, my favorite thing about that video is watching and hearing everyone else lose it with laughter. There's just something so wonderful about watching other people laugh. You can't help but join in. It is such a contagious feeling. But I guess that's what comedy is all about, isn't it? That's why we watch it. And I'm assuming that's why people like watching reactions to comedy and things like that. Because you can't help but join in. It just makes you smile, makes you feel good. Um, but yeah. He makes me laugh. He really does make me chuckle. I really enjoyed that. And, do you know, I've never actually watched any of the Graham Norton show properly. I think I should, because it seems like it'd be quite funny to watch. So how do you rate it? Let me know in the comments. And also, keep the recommendations coming, and I'll keep watching. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.